Hi everybody, in this video I want to show you how to install Zabbix uh, server version 3.0 into Linux uh, CentOS 7 operating system. So, I will use uh, Oracle VirtualBox uh, to create a uh, virtual machine for this purpose. Let's add a little bit more. Another settings uh, up to you. Here, first one adapter will connect the virtual machine to internet. And the second one will be for interconnect between my machine and uh, virtual. Yeah, here we need to provide uh, operating system ISO file. It can be downloaded from here. Minimal ISO file. I have uh, already downloaded, so I will just uh, select it from here. We can start. On this step, I just uh, leave language English, United States. Here, let's start from internet connection. Let's enable our adapters. And uh, I'll provide hostname as well. Select hard drive where to install and um, time zone. Okay. I selected my time zone, but you select your own. Okay, installation begins. Now uh, we can set uh, password for user root. And uh, I will create one more user named Zabbix. For production systems, uh, please use a strong password. But for testing, it doesn't matter. So installation will take uh, some 15-20 minutes uh, on my internet connection and the uh, settings of this virtual machine, and we'll continue after. Okay, server is installed. Let's restart it. Let's log on and um, check IP configuration. So one IP address for internet access and uh, 
looks like second one adapter is not activated. I use uh, this utility to manage IP configuration. Yeah, now second one is uh, for interconnect. I can use it to access server using uh, SSH client. Um, this will be easier to copy and paste commands. So let's use it. Demo. Okay, connected. So first of all, let's um, change time zone. One more time. I, I will use file for uh, Europe Riga, but uh, please use your own time time zone. This will be actual for um, numbers in in the Zabbix, so you will get uh, all um, metrics on time. Now let's check: uh, Do we have swap on the server or not? So. I have it. If you don't have this position, please uh, proceed according to uh, these uh, steps. Here you will make a swap and uh, these uh, commands, uh, not only commands, but uh, these lines uh, required to have swap after computer is started. Now I will update operating system. It will take uh, another 15 minutes approximately. I will be back shortly. Okay. Now I will install my favorite text editor. You can install another. And on next step we will install database. Zabbix is working perfectly uh, on MariaDB on CentOS 7. So we will install MariaDB and we will perform basic perf performance configuration tuning and um, we will secure it. So first let's install it. Okay, done. Now we'll put this parameter file per table because if we we'll don't, after database is created, it will be not so simple. Another settings uh, can be done after when it is required. So let's start database and um, by default the uh, username root doesn't have any password. So let's secure it. So current password is empty, just enter and uh, 
do we want to secure yes set the password for production instances use some strong password now I don't use very strong because this is just a demo so let's connect uh, to database and uh, in this step we'll create database named Zabbix uh, with character set UTF-8 and um, collate uh, this mean what uh, database will be case sensitive this is mandatory settings uh, for Zabbix version 3.0 and we'll create user Zabbix yeah if password one moment yeah type some password here of course for production doesn't use password the same as username Okay. Installation of firewall is not mandatory too, but for production inst instances uh, I would recommend it. I will install it and um, will add ports 51 required for Zabbix server, uh, 50 for Zabbix agent. Uh, 80 uh, for not secure HTTP and uh, 443 for HTTPS so let's start firewall and uh, make these exceptions So basic uh, preparation almost done. We can uh, connect uh, this one repository and uh, install the big server. Okay, great. Here we will install the big server uh, front end. Zabbix agent, Zabbix get utility and um, sender and the getaway uh, actually mandatory is only two from this uh, line but uh, I will install all of them okay it's done now we need to go to this directory and it can be different uh, after some time version will go forward so I will just copy this line and uh, press tab to select folder what actually exists at the moment so I navigate here and uh, now we will run this uh, command to create uh, initial schema and uh, and so on yeah so here we connect to MySQL using user root and uh, we select in database Zabbix and now we need to provide uh, user for not user but uh, password for user root yeah Okay, in next step we need to point uh, Zabbix server to database so we will edit Zabbix uh, configuration file uh, 
Yeah, and um, database uh, host by default it is localhost, so actually we have the same. You can change change if you have different. Actually, if you use static IP address on your server, uh, point, uh, point it to static IP address. It, it will be better. In our case, we can just um, do like this. So, uh, database name Zavix, user Zavix, and password. the same but uh, for for production don't use password like this that's it uh, maybe in next uh, video uh, we will go through all settings in uh, Zabbix server configuration file because this is very important for performance reason but not now today we are just installing server with basic configuration what can be actually used for starting production server as well. So now in um, our front end configuration file we need to just to check these uh, settings uh, exist and uh, to yeah just to uncomment one line and therefore your uh, region please uh, change time zone to your I have uh, Riga so this is okay for me oh, sorry yeah correct let's start front end and Zabbix server Uh, yeah, we can check status. Yeah, it is active, running, so uh, configuration file was correct. Yeah, now we can start Zavix agent as well. And um, this security security settings is not mandatory but it is recommended we can enforce it in our scenario and but if you have some trouble with um, some processes will do not access another processes uh, you can switch it off but uh, if everything is set correctly it will work Yeah, so now we can check like this. Yeah, but we have actually these two options on and um, one more. Yeah, yeah, this one is on as well. So it's correct. With this, using this one command you can just uh, list uh, all processes. Uh, we need to add to startup list our processes because uh, anyway it will not be started after server reboots. This is very important because uh, sometimes you're just uh, preparing server, everything looks uh, correct but uh, after server reboots something doesn't work or maybe anything works so now it's time to go to Zabbix front end so we can just um, navigate in our browser to our IP address it was 56 I think yeah let's maybe check 
Yeah, it's a 100 feet. And uh, like this. So, you need just uh, to go through a few steps. It is uh, something like a chicken check of everything is set correctly. Prerequisite is done. And um, now we need to provide password for user Zabbix, database user Zabbix. Frontend will check database available or not, so we need to provide this password. No. And uh, here we can put um, Zabbix server instance name. So you can identify this uh, server if you have few Zabbix server instances. Like this. Yeah, this is a front end configuration file. Actually, this is here. Everything from this file I will copy into the description of this video, so don't worry, you will be able to copy paste everything the same as I am done just now. So, after pressing finish, we are on the, on the front end of uh, Zabbix server. So, here we have instance name. What we provided a few steps before. Uh, default username is admin and the password Zabbix. So, this is um, dashboard of server. Yeah, and then uh, from beginning we can switch on monitoring uh, of uh, Zabbix server itself. So just go to configuration hosts and enable it. Okay. Yeah, now Zabbix server will, will monitor itself and you will get internal metrics after some time. So, uh, thank you for watching uh, my video. I hope it it will be helpful, useful for somebody. So, uh, don't worry, Zabbix uh, could be difficult from the beginning, but uh, after some time you will love it. So, have a good time, yeah, and uh, please write your comments uh, under this video, and uh, if you like it, subscribe for my channel. Have a good time, yeah. Bye-bye.